Hey guys, it's Jess and I am here today with a tag video. I am doing the Halloween tag uh, because it's almost Halloween and I feel like it needs to be done. So the first question is your favorite horror book. Um, and I actually haven't read a lot of horror. That's something that I really should do. At least a couple Stephen King books, I feel like. If you have any other awesome horror like novelists, let me know down below because I don't really know any. Uh, the closest thing to horror I've read is a psychological thriller, which is by Gillian Flynn, uh, which was Gone Girl. I loved Gone Girl. I thought it was great. I really enjoyed the twists and the turns and the, oh, all the pressure of what was happening. It was pretty awesome. I really liked it. The scariest moment in a book I have read. So because I haven't read a lot of horror books or you know, books in that genre. The scariest moments for me are when people are like sneaking around places and they're about to get caught. It just incites a lot of anxiety for me and I'm so worried for them that they're gonna get caught and I can just feel my heartbeat and I just imagine myself in those situations when I was a kid and I wanted to get something to eat and it was the middle of the night and you're walking down those creaky floorboards. We had creaky floorboards in my house and oh my gosh, terrifying. And you're just worried you're gonna hit that one and you stop and you wait no no one heard and then you keep going it's just so terrifying for me and it brings back a lot of memories question number three have you ever dressed up as a book character for Halloween actually this year I'm dressing up as Snow White and I am dressing up as the Disney Snow White but I'm gonna say that counts. <laughs> so I'm doing something super cool where it's not classical Snow White, but it's actually poisoned Snow White. So it's Snow White uh, when she actually gets poisoned, she eats the apple. So I'm gonna put some like effects right here and an awesome little bubbly throat thing. If you're on my Instagram, I'll totally post a bunch of pictures. So follow me there and you can see the awesomeness that will be infected and poisoned Snow White. Question number four is what do you think your favorite fictional character would dress up as? It's hard for me to pick a favorite, but I'm gonna say Paige Mahoney from The Bone Season. Big thing, if you haven't read The Bone Season, what are you doing with your life? Go read it, I cannot say that enough. But I think Paige would dress up as the warden, kind of as a joke, but also because it could be pretty scary depending on who you are. Number five, what is your favorite type of horror? And we're talking like psychological thriller, just plain spooky or like gore. For me, the only one I've read is psychological thriller. So that's really the only one I can say. I suppose the Mara Dyer trilogy is kind of spooky, but I wasn't a huge fan and it didn't really scare me. So I'm gonna go with psychological thriller. Oh, this is probably my favorite question. It's number six and it says, if books were as cheap as candy, what book would you give out to trick-or-treaters? Uh, and mine's a split 50-50. So if they were younger trick-or-treaters, I would definitely just have a giant stack of Dr. Seuss books and hand those out like candy. Um, if they were older, kind of middle grade age, I would get Goosebumps because what a perfect match. Goosebumps on Halloween. It doesn't get better. Number seven is your Halloween to be read list. And for me, I'm gonna just put Stephen King on there. I've never read a Stephen King book. I know his big staple is horror. Uh, and I think that's probably something I should do, especially as someone who reads all the time. I should probably read some Stephen King. Number eight is recommend some Halloween reads. So, because like I've said, I'm not big on horror. Not that I don't like it, I've just never tried it. I am gonna go for those who don't like super scary. The Mara Dyer trilogy is probably a good bet. Uh, there's a lot of psychological, well, not, not psychological, just kind of spooky, weird stuff that goes on. Um, if you like that psychological thriller, Jillian Flynn, all the way. Uh, she does a great job at it. She's really kind of keeps you at the edge of your seat, keeps you guessing. Big fan. And number nine, who do you tag? I tag, I'm gonna tag four people. That's gonna be Elizabeth, Megan Olivier, Novels and Nonsense. Lastly, Lindsay Ray. If you've already done this, then obviously you can't, well, you could do it again, but <laughs> you certainly don't have to. If you want to do this tag and you don't have a booktube channel, write your answers down below. Uh, if you do have a booktube channel, then I tag you right there. Put up this video. Let's see your Halloween reads. 
Uh, I'll be back here very soon with a book haul and also my monthly wrap up. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!